All right, my friends, we're back to thrifting. It is 50% off the whole store. I picked a great day to go back thrifting, right? If you do not know, I have a ton of stuff. I have a ton of inventory that's not listed. So when I go thrifting, I find stuff for you. This is stuff that I can double my cost and give it to you in a box and you make a profit. So we're gonna go in and see what we can find for you for 50% off. It, the parking lot's packed. It's gonna be crazy in here, but I'm ready for it. All right, so you notice here it says welcome to the 50% off store. If you guys remember, I looked at this purse two months ago and several of you said I should get it. So it was still there and I definitely grabbed it this time. They always have quite a big selection of purses here. That one that I got was vintage. This one with the cherries, I feel like they're probably cherry collectors. And look at this, inside is like a glasses case. It says Suzanne Summers. I'm thinking the purse is also Suzanne Summers. It was six, which would make it only three on sale. I think this set should go for about $30. Now do note at this point, I have no buggy and I have no bag. So we are having to hold everything that we get and you will see it does get a tad bit difficult here in a little bit. So this is their pants. Most of their clothes are a dollar. However, there are some specialty ones that are more than a dollar and the hats are two dollars. So that means they're one. I grabbed that State Farm and this vintage Cincinnati Reds hat, I comped it out and I really think it'll go for over $50. It is a wool hat. It is a little worn, but they will still sell. So we are definitely finding some good hats here. We are going to look at the jeans, check them out. Now, I really like this pair of board shorts, but I wasn't familiar with the brand, so I did decide to leave them. Now, this pair of Hurley shorts, if they had been like four bucks, I probably would have get got them, but they were priced at seven. So you have to be a little bit careful when you're out. Now, if you do not know yet, Vintage corduroy hats are a major bolo. Watch out for these hats while you're out thrifting. That one I think will go for $40 to $50 and we got it for only a dollar. Now, at the shirts, I like it this store because they do it by size. So this is some 3X. This is a 3XLT Izod Saltwater and it had the flamingos. So that one should be really easy to keyword and the bigger sizes tend to sell pretty fast because I think a lot of people can't find those sizes in the store. Now, this is just an XL, but that was a 2006 Pittsburgh Steelers shirt. Grab that as well. Wasn't sure what the cake crab golf was, so I did put that hat back. Now, here is another shirt but that one I believe was like a Walmart brand so I did decide to leave that one there but when most of these shirts are only a dollar I am going to look through for a pattern that catches my eye or if I feel like it's nice this was a golf polo size extra large that one was priced at two which is okay we still got it on sale for only a dollar not sure what that winter shirt really was but you know anyways so we did not get that. Now, like I said, look for patterns that stand out to you because you can keyword a pattern versus a brand. This was not priced anything else. So this was only a dollar. This is a leather vest. Now it probably only go for about 15 to 20, but a dollar into 15 is not a bad flip. And then here, this is Lucky Brand, which is a higher end brand. It was priced at two or three, but even still, I'm getting half off. You see, look, the arms are getting full and I haven't even been here for five minutes. So, you know, they they had no carts. It was so busy and you'll you'll see my solution to this problem coming up here shortly. Now, here's another polo, but that one was not a brand I recognize. I try and push stuff, but it was so packed in there, it was almost impossible to do so. This shirt felt really well made. It was, I believe, uh, Denim & Co., and you will see that. I probably should have got that Ezekiel blue and white flower one, but I did leave that one there. I already, as you see, have my arms 
pretty much full, pretty much full. And on the half off day here, uh, you do have to bring the clothes to somebody to price them. Now, that's an Irish National Stud hat. I did not comp that out, but for only a dollar, I think we should be able to get at least 15 to $20 for that. I tend to pick up quite a bit of hats because they sell pretty decent and you can get them for a dollar or two. And I, these Tampa Bay Ray shirts, I was kind of on the fence about, but I don't think they were vintage. So I did decide to leave those there. And now I am shopping below and there are hats above. So you'll kind of see me pull down hats from up above as well. And here, quite a few button ups there, but nothing that the brand really caught my eye. So we are going to look up top here at the hats. Now that was a bike week one, but I think it was like 2016, I wanna say. So it was a little bit newer and this Purina hat, I don't know why, I'm not sure if that would sell. It actually might, but I did decide to leave that one. But this one, I'm not sure the team, you guys can tell me, it says a W. It did have the new sticker on it from Major League Baseball. And then this Napa 24 Jeff Gordon, hat I feel like would sell and this Tennessee Volunteers hat I believe is vintage so that one should be probably a good 25 plus dollars and then here is a like fleece beanie from the Olympics from 2002 so I think that one is going to be quite a good pickup as well I don't know why I went to the shoes because I really don't have much room in my arms as you see but we're we're still gonna go look at the shoes now these are sketcher gogas they were only priced at I think three or five and they looked in great shape so I added those to my pile and you can see the pile is growing now these were some golf shoes but I did not recognize that brand and then those were Al Almani but I didn't recognize that brand either now down here on the bottom, I looked at these boots and I did not grab them right then, but you will see I do come back. These are LL Bean main hunting shoes. So I am going to comp those out because they were priced at eight. And then these are some Brahmas. Some Brahmas are big money. I did end up getting these and they were priced at $8. They sell for about 35, but it looks like the sell through rate is pretty decent. I think that lady was laughing cause I was so out of room. It was not even funny. So now you can see I really cannot add anything else, but we're going to try. We're going to try here and we're going to keep looking. Now, what I am going to do here is I am going to look up those shoes. And now we are back at the purses. I see this really nice Union Bay purse that had an elephant on it and it was brand new with the tags. I had to kind of fight to get it out there, but I did get it. And I got that while she was pricing my clothes. And you can see here. I have my Ikea bag. Now, we are going to look at some more shirts. This is their boutique section. So these are not cheap ones, but this is a really nice Real Legends. It is a an XL and it is a vintage fishing shirt. And for only $3, which means it was half off, that was a really good deal. This Bimini Bay I did get, that's another vintage fishing shirt. You will not see the Bimini Bay in the thrift box because I did decide to give that to Brad as one of his Christmas presents because it's a really nice shirt. Now this is a Columbia. This one was priced five. I did pick it up. It's a really nice one with surfboards. What I did not realize is unfortunately it didn't have the size. I do think it's a large or XL. And so whoever gets that, I, be I believe that is a large, I would put large slash XL on that Columbia. And now when it's 50% off is definitely the time to look at the higher priced items because while they might not be okay to pick up while they are at full price at 50% off a lot of them might become a little more realistic for picking up and flipping for a profit so I don't tend to look through these if there's no sale on them but when they have a sale I definitely do check them out and they have they have quite a bit they they do know their name brands here so i have to wait until they're having the sale and then same thing with the jeans a lot of these are priced up i don't think i ended up picking up any jeans from the store that day because like at five for some of these brands it was still a little too much 
now we are back at the purses and if you're wondering why i'm going back and forth it's because there were probably over 50 people shopping in here so i was just moving to where the people were not and if that meant i was going back and forth to, from categories then that's what i did now this stood out to me this is cloisonne and this is a vintage belt with the really really pretty cloisonne flower so that one definitely went in the bag now we're back to me having my hands full now these are choco sandals they were only priced i think at three or four those sell for about 45 to 50 and we're gonna check out some more of the shoes again ah falling shoes that lady's like what are you doing there were no buggies there were no buggies what am i supposed to do i think i went backwards i think this is footage from before i got my ikea bag so sometimes the gopro footage imports out of order and i think that's what happened here because right now i do not yet have my ikea bag but i wanted to check out these shoes and see if there was anything else i saw there these were brand new but i think that was more of a generic brand now here we are dropping all the clothes off so they don't do the shoes or the hats but what they do at this thrift store to make it easier on the cashiers is you give this lovely lady all of your clothes and she prices them up so here i was telling her i was asking her if there was anywhere that i could like set my stuff after i um like had my arms full and she said unfortunately there wasn't anywhere i could sit it so i ran out to the car to get my ikea bag because I needed a way to have all my stuff in one place. And luckily I had that. So then I went back and got these boots now that I had my Ikea bag that we could put stuff in. And I went back to the lady to get it. Now we are at the linens. And look, you guys told me this Hawaiian punch towel was good money. I did research it. It is not excellent money. There's another one that is. This one is still worth about $20 though. And since it's 50% off day, I definitely picked that up. I'm not sure if that kid's Angry Birds hooded towel would sell, but I think this uh, Disney Kim Possible beach towel will sell. So I picked that up as well. Definitely look at the towels because if there are some big ones, they're like bright prints or like this where it's a character print, those can definitely sell. And here, I, I was on the fence about this Spider-Man, but that one was definitely really thin. The Hawaiian Punch one is too, but that is a little more rare one. So that is why I picked that one up. I wasn't really sure what that was. And I am dropping things, dropping things. And there was absolutely no room to put that back. Now, this is a really tight-knit crochet. This is an absolutely beautiful blanket. It did have the $30 on it, though, so it would still be $15. I think this would be great if you were getting it for a present, but that was a little too much for resale. Now, this pillow, if it had been handmade, would have been a great deal. It actually still might have been okay, but it had some stains on the back, so I did decide to leave that there. And then, looking at the coffee pots, or cups, sorry, cups, I saw this little cute Lake Tahoe Emerald Bay, and I did decide to get that one. Now, these pieces were really interesting. I do try and stay away from the breakables when I'm doing the thrift boxes, but if it's something absolutely amazing, I will still pick it up. Now, these spoons... I was not quite sure about so I set that down this was a really cool studio pottery with the bird and if I had been picking up for myself I probably would have picked that one up and then those wood bowls I was checking to see if any were branded but none were branded make sure you look up top guys this copper plate was really cool I didn't see any like branding that would make it easy to keyword now i did get this eiffel tower music box and i did decide to keep that one dalton has been obsessed with towers lately so i kept that eiffel tower box to give to dalton for christmas so while i'm out thrifting now i definitely am keeping an eye out for christmas presents because i do still have quite a few more that i need to get and it is getting close to christmas time now, these I was on the fence. You guys tell me. They were priced at four, so they would have been two. They were some vintage owl prints. There were three of them. And I did ultimately leave those. But if you guys think I should get them, let me know. And I possibly can get those next time I am out. And you got to look at these trinkets. Because sometimes some little stuff can be worth big money. So definitely keep an eye out. And you can see I'm hitting traffic jams almost everywhere I go here. 
this $3 leaf bowl I think was marked, but it was not marked with a brand that I knew. So I did decide to leave that back. And yes, I did almost drop it, but I caught it. And now we have the Ikea bag. So our hands are a little more free. Now this Oriental fan looked cheap. So I did decide to leave that one there, but check this out. I believe this is a Newit or Native American carved stone. Really cool. And I decided to get that. Now look at the poor Ikea bag. It's like overfilled. And I will tell you guys, I ended up checking out and coming back in for a second go round. And you're going to see both go rounds. Now, these dolls were around the corner. They were called Bates, B-A-I-T-Z. And you can see some sell for $50 and $60. So I did walk back over there to get them. They were not priced. And I believe I ended up paying $4 for them. Only one has the tag. So I would actually sell these as a pair because the girl doesn't have a tag. They definitely are vintage. They are pretty cool looking dolls. A, li a little creepy. Not a lot creepy, just a little creepy. But I did definitely pick those up because I think you'll get probably $50 to $60 for the pair. And I love that pelican and these crow salt and peppers, but I didn't want to pay. They were marked $5 and that was just a little bit more than what I was wanting to pay. Now, this I was hoping was Delft Blue, but you can see on the bottom it is not marked, so it is probably a reproduction, and I did decide to put that back. Now, they are slowly starting to replace the Christmas here um, with regular stuff, which is smart because we are moving past that, that Christmas time. Now, this was a Puerto Rico. It was marked, but honestly, I just, it looked cheap to me, so I did decide to leave that, but these hand carved candlestick holders are absolutely amazing and there were four of them so I definitely decided to get those now here's where I checked out time one it was 120 so 60 dollars and then I will tell you guys I did get this this was marked 30 dollars you are going to see comps I'm not shipping it though I am gonna list this myself I need to list it tonight you can see it sells for about 200 dollars um, comps on eBay are closer to 100 but with the half off, I only paid $15. So I did I did get that, um, but I'm not putting in Thriftbox because it's going to be hard enough to ship one time, let alone trying to push it and ship it twice. All right, we're back. We're back with a fresh Ikea bag. We have paid. We are back. Look at this stained glass. And I really went back and forth on this. This is another thing I wouldn't be able to put in a thrift box. I would have to keep it. Um, I think it would be profitable, but I did decide ultimately to leave it behind. And I like that candlestick holder, but it wasn't branded. This I thought was cool. Um, my stepdad is Jewish, and but they had $20 on this box. I thought this would kind of make a cool gift for my stepdad, but not, well, my stepfather-in-law, I should say. But I ended up putting it back. That was just a little too much for me. And we're at the other end now looking at some of these figures. I thought those might be Hummel, but they were not marked. And I believe all Hummel is marked. That was a vintage University of Miami cup. I didn't see a price on it, though. And that little goose trinket box was cute as well. And with a lot of this stuff, again, I'm not sure what makes me pick it up or not pick it up. I'm kind of hit or miss. Um... I wasn't sure if this was a candle warmer or what because it had the mirror on top. So I did decide to put that back because there was no top portion to that. And then on the other side, though, I saw this plate here. This is a really cool wood hand-painted Guam plate. And it was only a dollar. So I definitely picked that up because you guys know I absolutely love destination stuff. And over in the linens, we're on the other side. These are some pillowcases. They were $2. This one was still wrapped up, but down below, I saw that somebody had actually already opened one of these up. So I did not need to open them up. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to grab this one. Somebody else already opened, and I'm going to see if I can see a brand or if they're handmade. I needed to look at it a little bit closer. And the, the brand is normally on the inside of the pillow. Here you see... This is Pioneer Woman. If you do not know, Pioneer Woman is a great bolo. So I grabbed both of those and we added them to our Ikea bag. And I'm glad I looked down because down here on the floor, this is an awesome like hand-stitched tablecloth. Really, really pretty with the poinsettia, like the flower. This is just absolutely gorgeous. And it had 
a bunch of napkins that matched it. So I was trying to look for a price. The napkins were priced at five, so I did end up paying 10 for the set with the tablecloth. But I think this would probably go for 75 to 100 dollars, if not more. I have sold quite a few vintage tablecloths at that hundred dollar price point. So if you see nice needle stitched work. Definitely pick them up if they're a good price. And these are tapestry placemats. They had them all six price for $2, which is absolutely amazing, which means I only paid one. And I haven't even seen the design, but I feel like those will go for at least $30 to $35 for a set of six. And I also saw this cute little pot holder, but I put that back. And this, I believe, is a table runner with the palm tree. It's really, really pretty. So we got that as well. Now, would you have passed these up? Would you have passed these up? These are vintage Pittsburgh Steelers towels. These were probably the best find of the day. They sell for at least 20 to 25. Some of them sell up to $50 a piece. They were $2 each. I found three, so we took them all. Now, here I saw these pillowcases. These are not branded. These are actually hand quilted handmade. It's hard to see the stitching here, but if you look on the front, you can definitely tell that they were hand stitched. There there was a rip, but I really still feel they'll sell for 35 to 50. I put it back and then I saw there was another one. And I'm like, okay, with a set of two that makes it a different ball game. So I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get them both sell them as a pair, I would notate that they have that rip or fix it or fix it. And then these are some Toronto Blue Jays for plastic cups. They are brand new for three bucks. I think they'll sell for about $15 and that is not too bad of a profit. Now these were quilt toppers. They were absolutely beautiful and they were priced, I think at 20 or 30. So I did leave those. And then we're back to the clothes. Some brand new Cherokee scrub bottoms those were new with the tags for only a dollar they have the scrubs in with sleepwear which is kind of weird but whatever now this robe i almost got it but you can see i take it down here and there was quite a bit at the top left that was unraveled so i did ultimately decide to put that back but check out these vintage nightgowns these should sell for about 20 to 30 dollars they are tagged and this yellow with the petite flowers is really pretty. And then this one also is very colorful with the purple and the lace trim. So I did pick up both of those for only a dollar, turning it into 2025, possibly even more is a really great flip. All right, look at this cute little butterfly tissue holder. It wasn't priced. I did end up getting it for only a dollar. So definitely had to get that. And then I saw this silver bowl. This was pretty cool. It was only a dollar. It was WMF Icora and they actually sell okay. But if you see the front of this was actually a little bit stained. So I left it. Now I had to pick this up because I knew it was an Italy bowl, but it was cracked. So we left it. And then these are really, really mid-century modern. These are Francoma, but unfortunately they had them priced up. This, which I don't even know what that is. Somebody tell me what that is. It was priced at $10, whatever it is. And then this cookie jar is really cool, but they had it priced at $25, and it actually only sells for about $25 on eBay. So let's look at what I got. All right, so here is box number one. And I think what I'm going to do is split these up kind of into categories. So these are all clothing. I still have all of this and all of this. So we're probably going to have three to four boxes. But the first one here is 17 pieces of clothing. No, sorry. The first one here is 12 pieces of clothing. And it's going to be 34 plus 15 in tax. So... This one is a denim and flower. This is an extra large. Probably should go for about 15. I didn't comp that out. This Izod Saltwater is a 3XL tall. I think you should be able to get about 25 for that. Make sure you keyword those flamingos. Eddie Bauer, another 3XL, probably 20 bucks. There is a Grand Slam XL. And most of these were only a dollar, but there are a few here you'll see that were a little bit more. This one is Lucky Brand. This one should go for about 15 to 20. This one is a Fresno leather vest, probably about 20 bucks on that. 
2006 Steelers Champions. And you've got a Real Legends Vinted Fishing Shirt. This one is an extra large. Columbia Sportswear. I believe this one is a large. Keep, take note, whoever gets this box, it does not have the sizing. Um, but it is the XCO, which is a little bit of the higher end. And then this vintage nightgown is cats. Should go for about 20 to 25 Brand new Cherokee scrub size medium. Those are with the tags. And then this vintage uh, nightgown is carriage court, which should go for about 25 to 30 So overall here you should have about $200 in profit. So this will be box number one. Let's take a look at box number two. All right, this is going to be box number two. So this Hawaiian punch towel, somebody told me I should have got two months ago. It was still there. They do comp at about $20. I'm not sure. This is a beautiful embroidered. I think it might be a table runner, but that was only a dollar. This is a Disney Kim Possible beach towel, probably 15 to 20 there. These are two Pioneer Woman pillow shams. I think those will go for about 20 five to 30 for the set six placemats were two dollars these i think with a group of six i would split them up into four and two should bring you about 35 to 40. these pittsburgh steeler towels have a lot a good sell through some sell as high as 50 dollars. so make sure you comp these out these were a dollar each they were half off so comp these these should be really good and then I, these are two handmade pillowcases i will tell you one has a rip it's actually right here so you'll need to either fix that or notate it but they are absolutely beautiful hand stitch i think you should be able to get about 50 dollars for those two and then this is a set of napkins and a play, uh tablecloth this is all hand done as well i did pay um ten dollars for this I think you should be able to get 75 to 100 and then this is either Native American or Inuit carved stone. I got this one. All right, here is box number three. So box number three is going to consist of this cherry purse. This actually has a uh, sunglasses case inside as well. I think you should be able to get 30 for the purse and the sunglass case. This vintage, this is... Uh, People's Republic of China fan, this wood carved um, hand painted Guam plate, which I paid a dollar for that. You can see the six on there. I only paid three, paid a dollar for the Guam plate. I paid three for these Toronto Blue Jay cups that are new. I paid four for these dolls. These are gate baits. I did look these up. They look through like they sell okay. And then there's this nice vintage Coisonne belt. A vintage Zippo. The Zippo is um, engraved there. Not great though. So I think somebody would still buy it. I think they could uh, buff that out. And then this really cool vintage um, tissue cover holder. This was a dollar. These were two dollars. And these are really cool hand carved candlestick holders. This Union Bay purse I paid $3.50. This has got the really cool elephant. It is brand new with tags. And you guys told me to get this purse two months ago. So this one, it was $1.50. It was still there and I got it. So all in together on this box, I am $25 in. So this one's going to be $50. It's gonna be heavy. So it's gonna be 20 in shipping. So this box will be $70 total. And the last box, I'm getting ready to set out and show you guys shoes and some amazing vintage hats. That's probably got the most profit in it there. All right, this is the last box, and it is probably the best box. So this one, I have these Skechers Goga Max. Those will probably go for 2025. These are LL Bean main um, hunting shoes. Those should go for about 40. These Brahma boots should go for 35 to 40, and I paid two four four and two those are choco sandals they should go for 35 to 50 and then i got all these hats the hats were only a dollar this one should go for 35 to 40 this one could go up to 100 bucks this vintage cincinnati reds this alaska should go for 40 to 50 not sure on the state farm the national stud i'm not even sure what team this is it is um mlb it's major league baseball somebody can tell us in the comments this 24 and then this USA 2002 Olympics hat is new with tags. 
So there's probably over 200, even possibly more profit in this one. So this one I did pay 21 for this, which is cheap. So it'll only be 42 for you, 20 in shipping. So $62, you should net at least 300 bucks off of this. This should be a really, really good box. And that is the end, guys. I will see you tomorrow with another thrift video. We are back to the thrift boxes. If you're not a member yet, definitely check it out because then you get first dibs on these boxes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.